Hi everyone, it's Miss Jones and welcome to our art lesson this week. This week we're focusing on two different concepts that actually go together quite well. The first concept is our principle of design, contrast. Contrast refers to the arrangement of opposite elements within an art piece. An example of opposite elements could be light and dark colors, smooth and rough textures, organic and geometric shapes, or even large and small shapes. Contrast is used to create variety, visual interest, and drama within artwork. We're also talking about the concept of space, which is one of our elements of art. Space also has a pair of opposites, we call positive space and negative space. Positive space is the main focus or subject of an art piece. Our negative space is the background or the area surrounding our subject. So when you look at this piece, do you see two faces? looking at one another, or do you see a vase? Once you hear that there are two ways you can see this image, we kind of start to see both. Okay. So in this, uh, so our darker areas are usually our positive space because it becomes our focus. Our eyes go to darker imagery faster than it goes to lighter imagery. So if we look at the picture on the left, we see that the vase is black, which kind of makes us see that the vase is our positive space and our subject. Whereas we look at the picture on the right, our vase is our negative space because it's white. So the faces become our positive space. For our project today, we are going to be exploring a Japanese art concept called Noton, which features both contrast as well as positive and negative space. Noton is a term that refers to the Japanese idea of balanced light and dark areas in a composition. One of the most familiar symbols illustrating this concept is the circular yin and yang form from Eastern philosophy. Perhaps you've seen it before, the round image with interconnected teardrop-like shapes, one white and one black. The yin yang symbol illustrates this idea of noton. Noton is the idea that the elements of light and dark are equally important and need each other to exist. You can't have negative without positive, and vice versa. Noton is an idea that's been integral to Japanese art for centuries. You can find examples of pleasing compositions using the idea of noton in the works of many famous Japanese artists. This includes painters like Kano Sansetsu, who created an image called Old Plum, completed in 1646. Look carefully at the dark shapes of the land and tree, and you'll see how they balance with the negative space or the light areas around them. In another example, artist Yamanaka Sietsu demonstrated elements of Noton in a painting of a landscape on a vertical silk screen done around 1887. Again, in this painting, the dark areas of the mountain and land interact with the light areas to create a balanced composition. The idea of Noton wasn't familiar in the Western world until Japan opened its ports to Western trade beginning in the 1850s. As a result, Japanese goods became popular in Europe. With its striking design qualities, Japanese art, especially woodblock prints, became very influential to Western artists. So for our project today, we're going to be creating our own uh, Noton designs using uh, positive and negative space and uh, also contrast. So what you're going to need today 
is uh, two different colored pieces of paper. So I like to do black and white because it's kind of that yin yang. It has a really good contrast with one another, but they can be any colors you'd like. You're also going to need a ruler for measuring. We're actually going to measure. Um, so make sure you have um, a ruler, uh, a pencil for practice. Um, you'll need a scrap kind of white piece of paper to practice designs on. And then we are going to be cutting into our paper today. So you need a uh, scissors and glue. So go ahead and grab your scrap paper and we're gonna start with kind of practicing and planning our designs. So when we go into cutting our paper, we kind of know what we wanna do and um, what works well and what we like. Um, so grab your ruler and we're going to make um, a few uh, four inch squares, uh, four by four inch squares on our paper because that's how big our Noton design will be. And I'm just going to start with one square, but if you want to do more, you can, depending on what your designs are. But um, what we're going to do with our Noton is we're going to, going to make a positive and negative um, space and shape. So we're kind of going to do the uh, vase and face kind of thing a little bit, but mostly just mirror each other um, with our compositions. So we're going to be cutting into our square and we're gonna, going to be cutting different shapes. Um, so whatever lines you draw, you're going to cut along those lines. Um, so we wanna make sure we uh, don't overlap any shapes and we keep them really clear. Um, also try and keep the middle kind of open because uh, we don't wanna accidentally cut our paper in half. We want it to stick as a square. Um, all of your shapes uh, should touch an edge also. It should touch uh, one edge each of your shapes. Um, so I'm gonna start on this edge over here and kind of just draw maybe kind of like a swirl. And then maybe I'll draw um, some other types of shapes, um, kind of experiment with what shapes you like, what lines you like. Um, but remember to have it touch one edge. So its ending should both be on the same edge. So this shape begins and ends on my right side. This shape begins and ends on my left side. And like I said, we don't wanna overlap any of them. Awesome, so we wanna make sure all of our shapes uh, begin and end on the same side. We don't wanna overlap any of our shapes or cross any of our shapes. Make sure that they um, kinda keep their distance from each other because when we cut around our lines, uh, we don't wanna kinda lose our shape. Um, so once you kinda have your plan out, uh, Maybe you like this design. If you wanna try another one, you can draw another square and plan it out. But I think it's good to kind of get down your composition and maybe try it at least twice uh, to kind of see what you can come up with. Um, I might actually do a second one um, just because it's good to uh, try different things. A lot of times we settle for our first idea and then we don't really explore anymore. So. I like to do multiple what we call thumbnails, which is what we're doing now, where we're kind of practicing and uh, just testing out different shapes, different designs, and maybe we'll come up with something the second time that might be better, or maybe we'll combine our ideas into uh, something uh, much cooler. might kind of like that better. Um, you can always make more notons too if you're like, oh, I can't decide between them because I feel like mine are really different. Um, 
but uh, I kind of like this one how I I mean I kind of overlapped my shapes but I just have to remember that I'm gonna cut all of those on all of those lines um, so it's okay that they're kind of like layered with each other but you just want to keep your lines separate and at least keep um, them on the same side so I'll try it and if it doesn't work then that's okay so I'm not going to do that one uh, and I'm gonna stick with my first design. So I decided I like my first design best. Um, so what I'm going to do is get my, uh, and I'm gonna put a little star next to it, that's the one I want. Uh, we're going to start our uh, composition, uh, our final composition. So I'm going to do it on my black piece of paper. So with your two pieces of paper, you're going to have one that's gonna be your background and one that's going to be your noton. Um, so I'm gonna do my noton on black and then my white will kind of be my background and my negative space, let's say. Um, so we want to uh, measure out our noton uh, on our black piece of paper. So it's gonna be our four by four square. And the only reason we're doing it four by four is so it can fit entirely on our piece of paper. Um, so now we're going to use our scissors and cut out our square. So we have our square for our noton. So now we get to uh, redraw our design that we chose on our noton. Um, so try and replicate it as best you can. Um, might look a little bit differently, but that's okay. design all drawn on there, um, I can start to uh, cut around my line. So we're going to cut every single line that we drew on there. Um, so I'll move my design because I already got it all on my noton. And then I'm going to grab my background or my negative space, um, my paper here. Because we're going to be gluing our noton onto our paper. But first we'll want to cut out our shapes. So be careful as you cut out your shapes, especially if your shapes are kind of intricate. You don't want to rip your paper at all. Awesome. And what we're going to do with our cutout shapes is we're actually going to uh, mirror our uh, noton. So that's how we're going to glue it on, is we're going to create our uh, positive, negative space by kind of connecting our shapes, um, kind of opening it like a door almost and connecting it uh, onto our edge of our noton. Um, so you might want to place them uh, where you want them to be. As you go on with your noton, like if your shapes are pretty close together, it might start to get pretty delicate. So just be careful. Um, you don't want to rip off any part. You might have to start over if you do that um, or accidentally cut uh, kind of a thin piece of your uh, noton frame. Once you get all of your shapes cut out, make sure you don't lose them. Um, 
we can uh, start to glue down our noton. So um, before you do that, you'll want to arrange your piece. So uh, I had a bunch of pencil marks on this side and I thought it might be hard to um, erase them. So I'm flipping mine over. Um, but you'll want to kind of see which way you want to put it. Um, and then when you arrange your shapes, I think I'll do it this way. When you arrange your shapes, you want to make sure that it is the opposite of the way it's cut out. So uh, you might have to kind of puzzle piece it back in. And then what you're going to do is you're going to flip it, kind of like you're opening a door or a book, right? So you want to uh, make sure it's, it fits in there like a puzzle piece and then kind of almost like flip it over so that it mirrors that side, right? So once you have uh, your no tunnel uh, good, I might just glue it down, glue this part down first uh, and then glue my shapes next to it. So, um, oops, I don't wanna get purple glue on there. Um, so glue, kind of put a little bit of glue on your noton, uh, on the edges and sides. It doesn't have to be much, uh, just as long as it'll get stuck down there. Uh, and then I'm going to kind of stick this down. So make sure I have a decent amount of glue on there. And we're gonna try and put it in the center of our paper, but uh, who knows, but we wanna have some space so that our uh, shapes can fit on there. So like, I wanna make sure that this tentacle thing is gonna fit. Stick it well. There we go. And you may need a little bit more glue on some of the edges. Mine kind of popped up. that all down, uh, maybe a few little pieces need glued um, so that stays all the way down. Um, I'm gonna start uh, arranging my uh, shapes. So this one fits there. I'm gonna open it up like a book. Make sure it lines up with the edge here. Um, this one too, let's see which way does it fit in. There we go. Uh, and then I can start gluing them down. And once you glue down all of your shapes, you have your uh, positive negative space note on. So make sure you write your uh, name down at the corner, sign it like an artist. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this and yours turned out super cool. Uh, I think I kind of learned some things with mine. Um, I felt like I drew it out and it looked really cool, but I wish I had more shapes kind of on the side and I filled them up more here um, but it's kind of cool it kind of creates like a mirrored image um, you can turn it every way and it kind of looks different and um, creates certain scenes or um, patterns which is kind of cool um, so thank you everyone. Hopefully you enjoyed this project. Make as many notons as you want. Um, they go by pretty quickly and they always look um, really cool and interesting. So thank you everyone. Uh, have a great uh, week.